The latest stop on the Manufacturing Caucus tour around the state was South Central Pennsylvania and a visit to two different manufacturers of heavy equipment. Volvo Construction Equipment in Shippensburg is home to more than 1,000 well-paying Pennsylvania jobs. Walking along the high-tech lines where giant earth-moving machines are assembled, lawmakers were constantly reminded that success in manufacturing goes to those companies who master efficiency. Everything goes one piece flow, much shorter lead times, quicker response times to our customers. It really keeps us all in synchronized through the factory and we're only producing what we truly need. Just by moving the operators and the work and better aligning them, we gained over 20% in efficiency points. It's an attribute that private business would like government to master as well. So they helped showcase some of the problems that we have here in Pennsylvania. Chief among them is, again, getting government to move at the speed of business uh, to, to allow uh, things to move forward in a timely manner and encourage investment rather than uh, encourage investment in other states. With facilities around the world, Volvo recently invested $100 million in expanding its presence in Pennsylvania, an affirmation of how Pennsylvania workers are valued. Now, now when we get into uh, like the crawler, triple nine, then that's probably what, a, a, probably two and a half million, three million dollar crane. Just a few miles south of the Volvo facility is a Manitowoc Cranes plant in Shady Grove, where mobile cranes and boom trucks are made. These are big drivers for our local economy. 1,300 you know, hardworking Pennsylvanians work here at Grove Manitowoc Cranes. This is a significant employer for our community. It's good to hear what their concerns are. And their concerns as they pertain to partnering with state government in building a healthy economy center on keeping their costs down and their skilled workforce busy. A rising energy costs, that, that's a very big concern of ours. Really developing infrastructure in Pennsylvania, like the transportation bill, Keystone Pipeline, and things that help spur demand for cranes. I think this is a per perfect forum to, to show those concerns and also show the progress that, that we're making out in the plant and the fact that we want to continue the modernization that we have out in the plant, and that's something they can help us with. In all, the visits to Manitowoc and Volvo reinforced what Manufacturing Caucus members have been hearing all along their tour. Manufacturing in Pennsylvania can survive and thrive, if only. What I heard a lot from these guys is just get the layers of government out of the way. The red tape and the regulation are just, just really uh, drowning us, and we can do so much more if you can just control those bureaucrats in Harrisburg who try to tell us what we're doing when we're, we're trying to grow our business, we're trying to hire Pennsylvanians, and the bureaucrats just stand in our way like a firewall.